Okay, boys and girls, hope all is well with everyone. Um, this week for Kerry Coaching and Games, we're going to look at a few different movement skills and include them in some different games as well that you can do around the house. Because we know it's not great outside at the moment, so we're probably cooked up inside the whole time if we can't get out, even get out into the lawn to kick the ball around. So we'll try and incorporate what we can inside here. You might see in the wall behind me that I have four sheets up with four different symbols. Okay, so you can do the same yourself. Okay, if you want to pause the video, if you need to get them ready, you can do so. I have four symbols that's the same as a deck of cards. Okay, so if you have a deck of cards, you can do similar. If you don't have a deck of cards, that's fine. You can just get four sheets and color them in uh, four of your favorite colors. Okay, and I'll explain when we come to the game how we're going to utilize these. Um, so what we'll do is that we do our warm up for our warm up? We're looking at our animal movements. Okay, so think of your favorite animals and how they move. That's what we're going to be doing within our warm up. I'll give you, I'll give you six different animal movements again this week. Um, then we just go into three quick games. The first one is focused on your on handling, so getting used to handling your ball and a bit of balance work. And then we'll do two games after that at the end as well. Um, so I might as well get you going, guys. Get you warmed up. So for your warm up. For your very first one, we call this the Wrigley Worm. Okay. So if you think have you ever seen Wrigley Worms outside outside in the ground, remember how long they are. So what I want you to do is make yourself as long and as tall as you can. By doing so, you're reaching your hands high overhead, you're rising up onto your tippy toes. And from this position here, I just want you all the way down where you're touching your toes. You're going to walk yourself out and you're walking your legs the whole way in. And now stand up again, make yourself a big long wriggly worm, touch your floor again, walk your hands out, and then walk the legs the whole way in. You're standing up and now you're swapping your side again, okay? Big long wriggly worm, touch the floor, walk your hands out, and then bring your legs whole way in again. Now last one, guys. Big and tall once more, touch the ground, let's walk it right out, and you want to walk all the way in on that one once again. Okay, so that's your really worm, guys. Next one you're going to work is what we call what I'm going to call the hedgehog. So for your hedgehog, all I want you doing is getting down to the ground. So think like a hedgehog, how small they are. Okay, so I want you to make yourself as small as you can. And from this position here, you're going to move to the side. Okay, so you're up on your hands on your knees, and you're going to crawl as fast as you can all the way across the floor, and you're all the way back again. Okay, keeping yourself nice and tucked up like your hedgehog. If you find that relatively easy and you like a challenge, let's bring your knees off the floor and you can do the same thing, okay? So knees off the ground now, if you like the challenge. So think like your hedgehog, you're moving all the way across the floor now. Excellent. Now, guys, next one we call the spider, okay? So if you think a spider, how long their legs are, okay? I wanna get you to do something similar here now as well. Again, you're using the space that you have so you take as many steps, however long the room the room is that you can that you can get. So your snap position you're in here. What I want you to do is big long step with that hand, keeping yourself nice and low to the ground, and you're stepping in and again. Okay, so big long step with your leg, stay low like the spider, and you're back in and again. So just to give you an idea, get yourself set up again. Take your big step, keep yourself nice and low. You're pulling yourself in. Big step out the other side, stay low as you pull yourself in. Okay, we we'll repeat that one once more, guys. Once again, it's using the space that you have. Big long step, keep yourself low as you pull yourself through. Okay, say it again. Big long step. And then you're going to swap and work back off the other side now as well. Last one for other spider. Stay in your position, open yourself up. Make yourself long, and step, super, good job. Now, that was our spider, guys. Right? Next one we're gonna go is a kangaroo. So you've probably seen kangaroos on the telly. Getting down nice and low here. In your position, you're gonna have your hands by your side, and all I want you to do is hop around like a kangaroo, okay? So you're staying up on your tippy toes. Nice at the spring, all the way over. So when you get over now, let's hop to the side, okay? So think like a kangaroo. You're hopping all the way to your side. You can take a break if you need it, and you hop all your way back again. Good. So that was your kangaroo. 
Now you can keep doing a few of these if you want to go longer with them, okay? Just to give you an idea. Next one we're gonna go is with our goose, okay? So we know where our goose, we're staying low, okay? And we're just gonna walk. So think that your goose, you're stepping to the side. You're waddling as you go. So when you get to one side, you're all the way back. And then switch, you're all the way over. Try and stay as low as you can now for this one. That's the goal really. And try and keep your hands off the floor when you're stepping, super. Now, next one, our last one, guys. We're in your position again. We're going to come up, hips off the floor. What we're doing here then, stay nice and tall. And we're just going to step, cross your hands and step. We're working your whole way out. Once you get out, onto the cross and step, all the way back in again. Okay, and then up. Now, hopefully you're warmed up, guys. Just your six different animal movements that you can do. Think of your favorite animals and how they move. And uh, again, if you want to keep carrying on, you can. Uh, if not, you can get a quick sip of water. And I'm just going to take you into we want a little bit of quick bit of handling with our football in if you have a football at home. So if you have a football at home, doesn't matter if it's small or big, whatever you have access to, far inside the house now. And, and all we're going to do is a few different uh, quick skills, quick handling skills as we're removing the ball from hand to hand. It's just getting used to having the ball in your hand again is pretty much what you're looking for, okay? Um, we're going to set the clock. We're going to set the clock, have a quick race. We'll say 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds on each one, just very quickly through seeing how many reps, how many times, sorry, how many times you can do the exercise, how many you can get in the time, okay? So the very first thing that we're going to do, we're going to just go down to your knees. You can do it from standing if you like. You have it the ball, always just pass it around your tummy, okay? So just always around, always back. We're going to go for 20 seconds, okay? So we're going to go on three, and two, and off you go. So as fast as you can, just get the ball around. If the ball hits the ground, you go back to zero, okay? And you have to have one hand on the ball the whole time now, all right? So very quickly moving through, excellent. How many can you get? You have three, you have two, well done. That was handy, yeah? Now, we're just gonna change it up. Then I'm gonna call change every few seconds, call it randomly. So we'll say, say we're going around this way, I say change, you have to change direction, okay? Change again, you have to change direction. All right, again, if you drop the ball, you go back to zero. I want you to quickly count, how many can you get in 20 seconds? All I want you to do really is just get used to getting the ball or holding the ball, handling the ball in your hands again, okay? 20 seconds, so guys, as fast as you can. See who can go the fastest. So in two, one, and go. So quickly switching, okay, change. So you're gonna get back, okay, that's good. Change, really good, as fast as you can get the ball. Change, very good guys, that's it, change. Excellent, no one has dropped the ball yet. Change, all the way around for three, for two. Super job, well done. Okay, next little um, handling skill, just to quickly step, uh, move yourselves on, look at a step out. So watch your pace, you're on your spot, you're standing still. As you step out, you pass, you're back, you pass. So one leg is basically on the spot the whole time. I want you to keep the ball off the, off the ground, okay? You can actually use a bigger ball. The smaller ball is easier. Should have said that, okay? Obviously, you can put your hand around the floor. So preferably, go with a bigger ball for both these, for these little um, drills. So as you can see, you want to drop the smaller ball or the bigger ball. So 20 seconds, how many can you get? So ready in three, two, and away you go. So keep I have my left leg planted here the whole time now. Okay, so I'm just stepping forward and back as quick as I can. So try and get faster than me now if you can. Okay, very good guys. Five seconds, we just say. So for three, for two, super. Now, very simple handling drill, okay? And it's getting you moving. So it's getting you to coordinate, pushing your ball through. Now, we're going to do the same one again. But once again, if I call change, so same on my left leg. So if I say change, I'm going to plant my right leg. I have to coordinate, and I'm going to swap, okay? So I'm switching my leg in from there, okay? So every time I say change, I just want you to switch your leg, okay? Or switch the leg that stays uh, still the whole time. Now, 
We go for 20 seconds again very quickly and then I'll move you on to this. So going in three, two, and where you go. So keeping that leg still, okay? Change. You're just getting your switched in as you go along. Okay, change. So you have to quickly switch. That's it, very good. Change, hey, back to zero, change. So count down, you got five seconds. Change. It's good to coordinate, guys. You have to think quickly. Change. For three, two, well done. Nice one. Now, one last one. One last one we're going to do. And it's kind of bringing the two of them together, okay? But we're going to look for a figure of eight movement. So we're basically going to get you on the spot. Figure of eight, yeah? That's simple. Easy peasy. But I want to get you to move like a crab. So as you're doing it, you're stepping, okay? You're passing the ball through. Okay, so it's just a little progression of the first two. And again, it's just to make it a small bit difficult for you because I know you like to challenge. We all like to be challenged, don't we? So 20 seconds. How many times can you make a figure of eight as you're stepping? Okay, you're just getting used to handling your football. If the ball hits the ground, you go back to zero. Remember that. So three, two, and go. So quick stepping, guys. That's it. Keep your feet still. And you're trying to keep your feet moving the whole time now. Very good now. We're just going to keep you moving to the side. So you're over and back and trying to sit low. So you can see from the side there, in my dead stance position, as we call it. Okay? Keep your hips low. Five seconds now. Trying to come forward as well. Three, two, the jab. Now, we're well done. So, very simple little handling drill, drills that we can do just to get us handling the ball. So we're very quickly going to move into, guys, our bounce, okay? So just get used to bouncing the ball. So again, you have access to the ball, you can use it, okay? Um, we're going to work in just a few very quick, very, very fast shooties now, okay? Because you can practice these yourself, and these are part of your sports skills, okay? So just with your bounce, sorry, just with your bounce, there's going to be a few different ones to start with, okay? So very quickly, we're going to go for 10 seconds in each one. I'll show you first, and then the two of us are going to go as fast as we can, get as many bounces in 10 seconds. Okay, so for first one, two hands are on the ball. We're standing up nice and tall. Okay, so two hands, and the base with the ball, hitting the ball down in between your two legs. You're pushing it into the floor, you're catching with two hands. Just think of that, straightforward enough. So 10 seconds, guys. How many bounces can you get? So we're gonna go on three, two, and away you go. So very fast, two hands on the ball, you're just bouncing as quick as you can. Get as many as you can, so we have two, and time, simple jab. Now, very quickly moving you on now. That was bouncing with two, so now we want to get you to bounce at one, catch with two. Bounce at one, catch with two. For this one, I want you to alternate. So you're going right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. So you work on both sides. So very important, boys and girls, that you're able to use both sides of the body, right and left side. There's no such thing as a good side, no such thing as a bad side, because you're able to use both sides, okay? so. Again, how many bounces can you get in 10 seconds as fast as you can? So we're gonna go in three, two, and there we go. So you bounce, you catch a two, bounce, you catch a two. Just swap the hand every second one. How many can you get in 10 seconds? That's it, very good, guys. Nice and fast. Hey, if you drop it, you go back to zero. It has to be a clean catch. Three, two, five is on, very good. Now, very, very quickly, just gonna finish you up. We'll just do one more, but we're gonna focus on our one side, okay, one side at a time. So just basically want you going one hand, catch, one hand, and catch, one hand and catch, okay? Staying on that one hand for 10 seconds, how many can you get? It has to be a catch every time. You have to catch it one hand, okay? So as you get older, boys and girls, that you're able to bounce at one and tuck the ball in tight, okay? You, as you get older, it'll be something you'll be practicing when you're playing, when you're back outside playing with your friends, okay? So, just in this one, 10 seconds, as fast as you can. How many can we get with the one hand? It has to be a catch every time, okay? So, ready, three, two, off you go. So as fast as you can, let's get the ball. Try and get the ball into your chest. You're protecting it as well, okay? So when you bounce, you get it into your chest every time. Just to get your 10, or sorry, your 10 seconds. So you three, two, excellent, very good. Very quickly swap over. I hope you're keeping count on that side because you're gonna do the same amount off your other side or maybe you'll do better, okay? Hopefully you'll do better now. So try and better yourself every time. Always set yourself a target. So we're going in three, two, and away we go. 10 seconds now. So remember, when we catch it, we pull it into our chest so we're protecting the football. Very quickly, you're keeping position. 
We have three seconds now. That's two, that's one, and the next one. Okay, boys and girls, that's just a very quick run through some very fast handling skills you can do in the comfort of your home. It's not too crazy that the ball is going to break something, so just keep yourself in control of it, just to ensure that it doesn't happen. Now, we move on to another game, and this is the one, yes, so our cards, our card teams. So as you can see here, I have four targets, as I call them, and we're going to work in a few different roles, okay, so just to very quickly show you. So, different kind of throws that we have. We have our underhand throw, okay, so that's where we're coming underhand. So we're throwing the ball, basically, you have your ball, you're releasing as your hand comes under. So we're going to start, say, your kneeling position, if you like, you can stand up, okay, and think like you're throwing how to say your bowling ball or whichever, your hand is coming down, you're releasing at your hip as the ball goes out. Okay, that's your under hand. You've got to work that off both sides, left and your right side. Okay, that's your first one. Your second one is the overhand. Okay, so just so you can see me, overhand, you basically have, have your ball in your hand, you come back behind your head, back behind your ear, and you're releasing on top of the shoulder, basically. Okay, so just think, throw your ball away. You're aiming for that target across the room for you, which we have here, and you're going to try and hit that target each time. Okay, so you're practicing with your overhand throw for that one. Okay, uh, there are two throws overhand, underhand. We might work on our hand pass at the very end. So, if you don't have cards, that's okay. Whoever's with you, what you could do is you will. Oh, yes, you could use a dice. Or you can roll a dice, numbered one to six, okay? So whatever amount of numbers comes up, say you roll your dice, number four comes up, have your sibling or your mommy or your daddy call a color. So say blue, they call blue, number four is up. All I want you to do again is practicing whatever troll we're practicing at your target. Okay, so you do four of that troll at the target. So whereas we have cards here, just showing you with cards. And what I'm gonna do is when I pull a card, same as last week, if I pull a card, so just take the first one, we're going to work underhand throw. So on the first one, we're going to go six diamonds. So what I'm looking to do here is for six diamonds, I'm going to throw six throws at my diamond. Okay. So my diamond is this guy here, and I'm going underhand throw six times. And what we want to do is count how many times I hit my target out of six. Okay, that's my goal. Out of six, how many times do I hit my target? I'm going to do six off my left hand, and very quickly, six off my right hand. So I can be standing up, just so you can see there, guys. Right? Okay, so I'm standing up, and I'm just going to throw it. Okay, so once I get my ball out, I'm just going to go back inside with the other one. I get a better ball, so it'll come back faster to me. Okay, so you might use a softer ball at home, but I just want it to come back faster to me here, okay? So that's three out of four, four out of five, and five out of six. On my side. Now, why don't you do the same? You've got to work both sides. So I'm going with my left hand now. Okay. So same again, underhand throw off my target. So remember, that's six throws. That's three out of three. So you give me that one, four out of four, five out of five, six out of six. Okay. Well done on that one. Now, my card. We just switch it up again. So we very quickly run through. Now you can add as many as you want from that one. Okay. Doesn't matter if I got spade there, I was doing underhand throw with spade. Go on the hand throw again, actually, just uh, so you know. Okay. So this one, we have four of spades. Okay, so a bit more of a challenge. My target is higher, but I'm still on my underhand throw. Okay. I got four, four of spades came out. So I got four throws at my right, four with my left. Okay. So I'm just standing, one leg is forward, my left leg is forward, the ball is in my right hand. And I'm just aiming for my target now. So I've got four throws to hit my target as best I can. Okay, very good. I'm going to quickly switch. My right, right leg is forward. Okay, right leg is forward. Hand ball to my left hand. And I'm going for my target now again. I'm just going for my four nice and fast. Super. Okay, that was on your hand now. We're going to switch it. We're going to go overhand. So I got three of hats. Okay, so for overhand, remember again. We're throwing, we're releasing it. We say in line with your head, in line with your, you're releasing the ball. I'm going for my hats here. So I step to the side, you see a bit better on this side. I'm getting those so you can see me. And I'm just going to go with three of hats. I've got three throws with my right and three with my left. Okay. 
Keep my position held. That's two. And again, can I get the third one? Super. Now I gotta swap my side just so you can see my target every time. So I'm switching. And two out of three. I missed that one. And three out of three. Super. Now, just to move you on quickly, guys. Four of clubs. If you have the space and you can do it, you can introduce a hand pass. Okay. So I'm after pulling the four of clubs. So what we're going to do for our hand pass, remember, so the ball is in my hand, the ball, the hand, the ball is resting in. That's nice and flat. So the ball is cushioned there. Make a fist and coming in underneath the ball. Okay. So if I'm allowed to do this inside the house, that is, we can introduce a hand pass. If not, stick with your overhand or stick with your underhand throw. Uh, four of clubs coming out. So my clubs is this guy, in my side, you might have had a green sheet of paper and you got four on your dice. So four hand passes now as fast as I can. I'm going for my clubs with each one, okay? So how many can I get? You can set yourself a time even to try and get them with each one. Oh, super. I'm just gonna quickly swap you over in. So I switch the side, okay? Same hand, same leg. And I just wanna hand pass off my wall, keeping control of my ball. And I have my four, very good. Now, that's just a very quick game, guys, you can do. Underhand throw, overhand throw. If you like, you can throw across the body, okay? Left side, right side. As many different kind of movements you can do, the better, okay? That will help you for, as you get older and that. The more, uh, how would you say, is we would say the more, the more you explore the movements, the better for you, okay? Simple target, pull a card. That's the target you're going for. You can change any way you want. Roll a dice, pick a sheet. Have someone call a sheet or call a color. If you might have four sheets colored in uh, four different colors, might have someone with you, they can call the color of the sheet. You gotta think and go and switch to that sheet. There's as much variety you can do with this one, okay? So uh, play with it, explore it, and be with it. Now, last game, guys. We're probably all familiar with the game. What's called time and set. Very quickly. We're going to do our own version of Simon Says, which is called Coaches Says, is what I call it. Okay. Um, you know the crack? I'm going to call it movement skill. So it could be hop like a bunny, hop like a frog, jump to the sky, jump jack, could be anything. Okay. Very, very quickly, just to get through. Um, on each one. So if I say hop like a bunny, I basically want you to go around hopping like a bunny until I say freeze. When I say freeze, you got to freeze on your spot. When we freeze, if we're doing our jumps, so when we freeze, we gotta sit. Remember once again from last week, or as we call it our dead stance position. I'm getting my hips back behind my heels, my head, my head, my chest is up, I'm looking forward, my knees are over my toes. Okay. That is my dead stance. Well, basically, when I say freeze, I want you to stick into that position every time. Okay. So we're very quickly run you through it. And again, this is something you can do. You can carry on playing the whole time through. Okay, so coach says, uh, jump like a frog. So we got to jump like a frog all, all around the room, spring for height as high as you can get, and freeze. So you got to hold your position, stick. Who can stay a statue for the longest? Well done. Good job. Now, next one. Um, so coach says, hop like a flamingo. So just around on that one leg and freeze. Well done, excellent. Now, hop like a frog. Well done, now hopefully you didn't move with that one. I didn't say them two words. Okay, so well done to those of you that stayed still and didn't move. For those of you that did hop like a frog, you got the animal right, super. Remember, we gotta to listen to that command. So this time, coach says, hop like a frog. So we know the crack, we're gonna go for distance with our jump, try and get as far as you can and freeze. Hold your position, start dead, you're out. Now, take a breather, sip of water if you need it. Coach says, flamingo on the other leg. Okay, so you're going, little hops around, come forward, breathe, and hold, we're done. The stuff is, now, that is a quick little run through, another game that you can do. Same as your Simon says, you can do so many different movements. You can add your animal movements into that, uh, that you did at the start in your warm. Just think of it. Uh, we'll just say, coach says, crawl like a baby, crawl around. Says freeze, stay still, statue for as long as you can. 
Okay. Um, look, guys, that's it for this week. For carry coaching and games, just a few little games that you can utilize. Come to your home, practicing your movement skills. Again, your movement skills are as important as your sports skills that get you in the position to do your sports skill. When you're able to get back outside, kick a ball in the summer months, and you have the long evenings as well. Okay, so it's just important practicing away um, both your movement skills and your sports skills now at home as well. Um, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, take it easy. I'm going to chat to you. Thank <laughs> you.